Hello, folks. I'm just going to be recording a poem uh, by Thomas Lovell Beddoes here uh, for LibriVox.org again. It's called The Lily of the Valley. So, without further ado. <laughs> the Lily of the Valley by Thomas Lovell Beddoes. Read for LibriVox.org by John Booter. Where the harebells are ringing, their peal of sunny flowers, and a bird of melly... Well, shoot, I already messed it up. Okay. Um, well, at least I, I can... Yeah, I'll, I'll just split it right there. Or maybe I'll split it here. And just delete and delete. <laughs> and you get to see a little bit of the process when I screw up. <laughs> Inevitably. Where the harebells are ringing, their peal of sunny flowers, and a bird of merry soul sings away the birthday hours, of the valley lily low, opening duly and slow, petals dear to young and fair, for the prophecy they bear, of the coming roses, the free, bold bird of merry soul, amidst his leaves cannot control his triumphant love of spring. Thou bird of joyous soul, why canst thou not control thy triumphant love of spring? I know that thou dost rally thy spirit proud to sing, because today is born the lily of the valley. Oh, rather shouldst thou mourn for that flower so meek and low, born with its own death bell, only cometh to foretell unpitying winter's doom, who in scorn doth lay it low in the tomb. Vain is all its prayer, it may flatter as it will, the ungentle hours with its ring of toying flowers, unrelenting they must kill, with their scornful breath for the very petals fair, which the destined flower uncloses in its innocence to plead for its defense by the prophecy they bear of the coming roses, sign the warrant for its death. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. That's all, folks.